Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestrian War. I'm your host, Mr. Noah Grafonia Level. But right now, we are doing the Army Motorization Effort, which is located uh, over here. Only a fool deny the military potential of wheeled machines such as cars and trucks. We need to focus our efforts on modernizing or motorizing the Army to ensure the speed of modernity. And I want to race to get down here so we can get some more daily Army XP. Standardized officer training. Ever since the Nova Grafoni became independent, the general skill and quality of our officer corps is all over the place. Although we're lucky to have some experienced exos from Grafonia, most of the officers are young griffins from local militia units, with often little to no training at all. That's why we need to make our efforts to put officer training standards on a higher level. And after that one, reform the general staff. The Army's general staff is comprised mostly of the old veterans of the countless wars which plagued Grafonia in the 790s. Although the old guard's skill and experience cannot be questioned, we should allow younger officers to put their creative plans and strategies to the test. We're going to be stuck in the 10th century forever. And we got some research we should do. Maybe some fuel stuff. New main hat explosions. Uh, battleships would not be bad. It's 12 in 10, 12 already. There's some tack bombers here. Maybe get some better battleships, perhaps? Uh, local cost training centers are very good as well. We'll get some of that as well. Putting down a lot of resistance right now. Equestria, would you like some volunteers? We're probably sending a few, few dudes. Maybe. Maybe not. And they said no, okay. Well, we tried. Anything over there? Nope. The upgrade, anything over here. Anything over here? Nope. Alright. And then we can go ahead and do this as well. Board observers. Eh, go do it because you can. Why not? We need some more we definitely need more pony power. Holy crap. Oh, most definitely. Even though right now we're quite non aligned, but that doesn't mean we're gonna stay that way the entire time. Limited conscription, go with extensive. Ooh, that's fine. Passive defense. Get some more defense. We're trying to get more naval bases. Uh, yeah. Go in there, anyways. And then, standardized armories is not bad. The finest army on Equus. That's pretty good. I like that quite a bit. But it requires. Oh, one of the following. Oh, yeah. All of them's going. The finest army on Equus. Finally, after years of bold reforms, we've managed to create an effective and powerful military force. Glory to the Nova Grafonia Army. The Shield of Gr Griffin Khan on Equus. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, what else we have here? Boom, boom. 1013 now. Happy 1013, everybody. Research speed. The Shire. Shire has fallen. Some more passive defense would be very good. Resistance wise, we're doing quite well. We do have some comms to go through very soon, but. And that's the resistance. So compliance is looking not bad. 57% is actually pretty good. Up here, it's, it's pretty slow up here as well, but that's pretty normal. Yeah, these guys are struggling a little bit, but uh, we'll see what happens. Chicoltgo, huh? Is this for like Chicago? Actually, we get 1.37 every day. 14, not bad. Enchanted tools, so we get some more of that. As someone is probably going to have already told me um, in the comments, don't forget about our unique stuff. More output's not bad, too. Ooh. Some more output first. Thank you. More divisions are also welcomed. Even though we may or may not have the supply for it, so. No, I'm going to do this. Fire protection is fine. And the finest army equus. Nice. Very good. Get some more rubber, or we get some more ship stuff. <clears throat> that would also be fine with us. We have implementation, but let's wait. So, we got to make a choice. I pretty much, though, yesterday, I said I pretty much want to go with the March of the Falcons. Maybe we'll do the wild card sometime in the Griffin on the High Hill eventually as well. New Imperator, so. Uh, but we'll, we'll do the March of the Falcons, just to be very supremacist here. Uh, yeah. I think I've read this one before, so. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. Passive defense. Nice. Because even though this is pretty much, I think, late game, maybe? <clears throat> Excuse me, mid late game, maybe. Again, the, the mod, the game still runs so fast. I love it so much. Oh, incredibly speedy it is. It's so good. There you go. Yeah. Advanced fire bases are very good, too. And we'll grab electronics, industrial. Um, we'll grab that one. <clears throat> you know, maybe I should have chosen the naval one, but that's fine. The March of the Falcons. Specialize the Falcons. Ooh. Falcons of Griffinstone. Nice. Yeah, I'll probably do that one pretty soon, too. Yeah. March of the Falcons. Officialize the Falcons. With the F. 
FLFG and Power. There's no need to pretend that the Falcons are not under our direct command with their help. We have game power, and with our continued aid, we should hold on to it. We only have 100, almost not even 100 factories. 100 battleships. We're making, we're getting the next one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Start mobilizing some more, which is good. Yeah, we definitely need more factories. Um, 100%. There you go. That's pretty nice. More ships. Not bad, not bad. Muzzle brakes. Better arty. Oh, yes, please. What's the strength of both sides right now? Skarin scheming. Unsurprising to anyone who knows him. Skarin is using his newfound powers as economic minister to see some foreign factories, which he quickly incorporated into talent gun runs. Well, this doesn't hurt us per se. On the contrary, it's rather useful. It's so bl very blatant abuse of power and but reflects poorly on our government. The March of the Falcons. Today was a day. When the Civil War ended, Reinhard, Ironclaw, and all party members of the F F L FG knew that this, this was their only shot at seizing power when the high hill was weakest. The Falcons grew up in stone. The f infamous militant wing of the, uh, the group gathered outside Vetter de Day, and with Ironclaw leading them, they marched onwards. The city's inhabitants were stunned. The local police could do nothing against this march with their new few numbers, and many officers fled the city in fear. In the end, Ironclaw and his lackeys seized power and arrested High Hill. A new order shall rise under new leadership. New Oval shall be great. Oh, look at that flag. Rai, was it Rayhod? Rayha or Rayhod Ironclaw. If you wonder about him, please go right ahead. March of the Falcons. An interesting development, to say the least. National Guard is very good to get, though. And we don't get that one. Oh, let's get him on political power. Oh! Oh, there goes Field Marshal. Patty Rockefeller. Bleeding Heart. Division of Attrition goes down. Ooh, that's not bad. I like that quite a bit, actually. Here. Be offensive. Supplies are probably not that good right now. Um, we'll look over here. Super heavies would be nice, but we don't really need them. More heavy batteries. After that one, I don't lose any more manpower just yet. Arm the nation. It's not bad. Mass nationalization. Democracy for the Griffins. Well, let's go over to this one. As much as I don't want to do the labor counts and lose 15% recruit population factor, we still lose harmony and economy support. By establishing labor camps, we can swiftly remo remove undesirables such as traitors and political enemies from our society. Unless you put into extreme work conditions, they either crumble and succumb to this never ending labor, or they will be able to dealt with accordingly if they refuse to commit to this labor. Nice. Fortress battleships are just a little bit too ahead of time. I'm going to wait to get at least that one done so we can add that on to our guys. <clears throat> good. Very, 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 very good, good. And supply bases. Um, there's a lot of not good supply bases around here. Don't start doing that. Keep making factories as well. Uh, stuff so we can't. It's fine. Oh, did your electronic computers. Pretty good. Cryptology going up. Oop. And secondary turrets. Next one as well. Moxie for the Griffins. Uh, oh, Skyfall Republic. Great Northern War. Oh, oh. Democracy for the Griffins. High Hell's coup in the following period under the military junta had effectively silenced any sign of democracy in the country. And the people are now eager to regain their voice in politics. What should give them their, this voice? So obviously the elections will have no real impact and will have a predicted outcome. Pretty much. Looking okay all around here. Skyfall Republic, huh? Ooh. What is that? Socialist problem. Grifonian migrants. You had another batch arrived today, fleeing Grifonia with a knot with their claws on the back. They have the better, find a better future here from the wars of old empire, and we welcome them with open wings until we go to war ourselves. So, the purpose is nice. Um, that's okay. We don't have to get that one done yet. Well, let's see about ships. Maybe twos are okay for now. It won't make a huge difference for us. Well. There's that for now. It's not great, but no, that's suffice. Get there eventually. Mm -hmm. Finish out the road off first, because he can. Democracy full of griffins. More political power, stability, war support, and supremacy. We'll love it. Oh, now we get that one? Dang it. Well, let's come over here. Our stuff's okay. Grab some of that too. 
My bad. Not that one. Um, heavy threes. Heavy threes. It's fine. Armor. Threes. Battleships. Is there anything else on here? Oh, we'll go over here first. Uh, let's wait. It's fine to wait. It's fine to wait sometimes. All right, democracy, mass nationalization, cockiness of Highland, Skyfall Republic. Is... Oh, it's over here. Is that allowed with anybody? Oh, we might take them out, maybe. 1013, huh? 1014. Here, yeah, grab some of that. Conquest of Hawkland. A, a small island chain of the Hawklands might be too unimportant for many to even bother attacking, but we have plans to use them for something special. Yes, we do. Yes, sir. World's End. Better to... That's the most important part to get over there. You try that one if you really want to. Improved airplane catapult. Get the next level as well. Postcode modifications. Um, you know, get start working on nuclear stuff. That's fine. Griffin Tech will get there a little bit. Support companies, engineers. Go logistics. <clears throat> nah, plenty of political power. Plenty, 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 plenty. Oh, we're still on this level, huh? Let's go with that one, too. That'll be good. Oh, Army High Command. Ooh. Division Organization. Oh, we need to have Ermin High Will, but you know what? This guy's actually better, so it doesn't matter. Hector Goldcrest? That's pretty decent. You guys doing okay? Yeah, so far so good. Upgrades, enable air defense, huh? Not bad. Search pattern, more spotting speed. More divisions, very nice. <laughs> I'll get the other division down here, too. I forgot about that. Um, in the meantime, escort ships. More production costs? No, that's even worse. Vanguard's fine. Compared to everything else. And you know what? Throw one of these on? No, throw one of these on. Because he can. Mm. They have your throwers. Might as well as well. And we're done with this part of the land auction. Nice. So how do you unlock this stuff? Improved infantry equipment 3. Oh, wow. But after the conquest of Halklin, Halklin plan. Arm the nation? Oh, I could try that. The griffins of the nation must be called to arms, ready to defend themselves or attack any foreign power. Nice. Oh, get some coffee too. God, I love coffee. Probably too much, honestly. Got a real coffee problem. Alright, so let's do training. And these divisions are actually pretty gosh darn decent. Not perfect, but they're decent. Nice. Conquest of Halklin. Oh, I did mass nationalization. Oops. And what's that one say? Private ownership is a mistake that must be corrected at once. Private owners are wasteful and ill coordinated. I don't know what is best for all. By nationalizing the economy, we can truly connect the industry to an economy that has been better adjusted to our needs. Well. Improved medium batteries, not bad. 1014, a little ahead of time. Speed, uh, hydrophones. Sure, why not? Because you can. Alright, where are we at? Something like this. Aircraft three over here, anti-air two, fine, so be it. And then at least whoa, secondary batteries, yeah. Slightly more naval XP is gonna be needed, that's fine, whatever. A little better arty. Nice. Well, let's see what happens. Hopefully we do well here. Ah, Korean Republic. Well that's oh it's got all republics over there. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we end up at war for the entire time, so be it, whatever. Actually, how strong is their navy? Um, it's not weak. Then again, theirs is not super strong. We have 35 ships. A lot of need repairs, though. Let's go repair first. We have a few heavy cruisers. But even then, that's not great. It's fine for now. Well, we could try it. Skyfall for now. Um, air stuff, 1014. Oh, let's get some of that. Okay. 
Oh, I'm just trading with them. That's fine. We'll see what happens. If it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And if nothing happens, then oh well. Well, I might be able to find some ships around here. Very nice. Okay. Also, we want to make sure probably got some radar around here too. Should have done that a little bit before, but whatever. Trying to see your convoys. Twelve counter lock. Ooh. It's alright. Combination, of course. Imperator. Well, Crystal City. Oh, they capitulated too. Wow. Uh, how many more days left? There you go. Oh, they actually landed, huh? It's alright. It's all good. It's easier for us to kill them off. Oh wow. Well that's a lot of cruiser three Ooh, that's pretty good actually overall. That's pretty decent. Oh, look, four divisions gonna die, yes please. Lowino, we're finding them too, that's fine, whatever. No, this division wants to. Something like that, maybe? There you go. So if you guys kind of come around here and help take them all out. Last Pegasus is gone. And that's okay with us. Here two, that's fine. Four. Cool. Now I can make you. And you get rid of you. Um level two, huh? How much more can we upgrade these guys? Probably hopefully quite a bit more heavy cruisers. Threes. Threes. At least level two. Three is fine. Three as well. Dual purpose. Armor. There you go. <clears throat> Arm the nation. Oh, hello. Where do you guys come from? Not bad. More divisions. Throw them down here. Nice. Ah. More radar stations. That's fine. You guys are still probably repairing. Maybe that one. Maybe. Oh, hello. Who's down here? Uh. Okay, that's fine then. Whatever. There you go. We lost 300. They've lost. Or 60,000 already. It's a little nuts to think about, but okay. Arm the nation's good. The Great Northern War. Uh, the time has come to strike at the dead general. Uncivilized nations strong us to the north and west. Onwards, glory and greatness. Hydrophones, nice. Um, do that too. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. And then do more damage. Attack bombers will be good. Put a guy there. Hey, 
And it's gonna take us a while to actually try to name it, isn't it? Oh, they're definitely trying to attack. Why is supply so bad? And then you know, let's begin. Because you can just I mean the resources are great, I and mean, it's not super important to do a lot of infrastructure here, but still. <clears throat> Oh boy. And then throw one of those. Why supply so bad? So we got a convoys? No, we got plenty of convoys. Engineers are fine. Just because of supply here? I don't really understand why it's so bad. Come on. In Northern War? Slavery. Oh, it gives you more population, which I do like, but we can wait on that one. Where did the Transbatar Railroad? The new railroad should lead to the nation's new lands of the frontier. All the way to the north of Griffonia back to Vetter. Finally connect the Griffins to the new lands. Crap, they actually took that tile. Are you kidding me, bro? There you go. Yeah, maybe going to war with them was a bad idea. But whatever. Oh, we're doing this really quite a bit. Nice. Then we need to do more cryptology? No. Yeah, changing doing very well. Um, we need more naval base, we need more military base, bases, factories, and stuff like that. Uh, construction speed? There you go. Piercing, chest receive critical heads goes way down. Alright, get some our air bases around here too. Anything around here we really care about? Nice, that's good. Step in the right direction. Armor department, Air Force department. And there goes Equestria. Wow. Uh, crystals of the mountains. Fear that there are deep caves inside the mountains of the frontier, featuring rare crystals that no one's ever discovered before. We explore the resources and sell to the world, or perhaps try to find these for ourselves. Which means you guys are completely independent, right? Close to getting enough naval XP. Oh, well, maybe not even that close, but still. Get there eventually. Keep sailing and flailing around. And attack bombers, not enough. The reactor's not bad. Oh, it's this. Nice. Good. Alright, magnetic detonators. Uh, we'll do that one, that's fine. Crystals of the Mountains and Frontier Industry. Frontier remains incredibly rural and industrialized, but this shall change. We shall industrialize those hills and mountains to finally give these griffins something worthwhile to do. Well, that something is a banditry, at least. War propaganda? Why not? War conditions? Why not? Because we can. Industrial stuff, that's fine.
And there you go. And now we're going to go make some military factories too. Very nice so far. Yuck, yuck, stands lost. Not enough guys yet. Then again, supplies are going to be very bad through here. Very, 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 very bad. Oh, there's a flybase right there too. Oh, that's important to get. Very, very important to get, actually. But it's good experience for Erica Rose Talon, so. Out of that one, Prosperity, Frontier Industry, sure. Oh, through careful investment and development of our nation, as well as reasonable reform, we've managed an era of reasonable economic prosperity. Let us hope. Um, that it stays this way. That'd be good. Oh, we have this done too. Nice. Kingdom of Wing body still exists, which is fine, fine, fine. Not bad. Very nice. We're gonna force attack, huh? Oh, we can double that then. So right now, have we captured the supply point? Technically, yes, but there's no supply. Hmm. We'll get there eventually. Um, infrastructure, oil is not bad. Research speed would be very good as well. Prosperity. Anything else over here we could do? Uh, Nova Griffonian Navy. For too long, our Navy's been getting the short end of the stick, and such such has been left in a dismal state. We must improve our naval power. Pretty much, man. Yakistan? Yeah. Changing's have a lot of divisions. An insane amount of divisions. Firefighting drills, good. They're out of manpower, pony power. Good. So, still got some equipment left, but that's fine. <clears throat> Service bar requirement? Yeah, I probably have to go there. I love the labor camps. Favorite place to be. Nice. Still not enough, though. Better fleets into two. Might as well. Ooh. Alright. Are we almost there? Yes. Wow. Almost completely obliterated. Motor landing. There you go. Got a tooth. Follow the axe down. Here we got him. Just like we deserve. Go and train. And when you're done with that, supply bases. So what doctrine did we go with? Oh, we did some of this stuff too. And eh, it's probably good to hold on to this for now. Naval stuff, we went with fleet and being, so. Base strike, old school tactics. The old naval doctrine has worked fine for us for many years with its large focus on naval ships to project power. A fleet of the finest battleships and mass fleet ready for, for battle at moment's notice and able to tear a ship in half with one battery. Uh, more naval doctrine would be very beneficial as well. I'll probably do that one. Construct the new Nouvelle Aquila shipyards. We can have a proper navy, do not have a shipyard or dockyards to build up. It must be changed with the all new Nouvelle Aquila shipyards. Perfect place for us to build a new fleet to rival all of our enemies with. There you go, that's good. Broad Majocracy? What's this one? Proof infantry half tracks? Now, I've never seen this, so I don't know what this is like. It looks very heavy on the tanks. We can go this way if we really wanted to, but. It'd be very motorized. Which is not a bad thing. Oh, we get a lot of organization for that one. It's full spectrum operations doctrine. Soft and heart attack. Ooh, more tank refinement. Attack of piercing. Artillery expertise. Ooh. 10% more soft attack for all that. Nice. 
Ooh, that's really good too for what we already have. Yeah, that's probably where we're gonna go. Uh, strategic warfare. Yeah, that's not bad. Motorized warfare. Max entrenchment speed, max planning, max entrenchment, future defense. Concealed and tactics. Alright, and then we have operational depth. In all honesty, does this give you any manpower? Not really. Better spike or something, though. No extra manpower, we'll go with this one. Full spectrum operations. Nice. Look what happened over here. Oh! Oh! We sunk two lectures and 13 destroyers. Nice job, guys. Oh, they really want to kill their own divisions off. I love it. So nice when they want to do that, man. It's so good. Oh! Another task force! Yeah, getting the naval doctrine done is super, 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 super important. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's one too. Yeah. Even more organization? Oh, yes, please sign us up. Air doctrine? Oh, yes, please sign us up. Can't quite go there yet, but that's fine, whatever. Holy, holy crap. You know what? I'm kind of glad. Manhattan Protector. Oh, that's so bad. They're very terrible divisions, but you know what? It looks so bad that it's probably destroying any of everything they make, which is awesome to see. Stomping. 10, 15, 14, that's fine. Do that too. Nice. Very good stuff. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. God, I wish you just have more naval stuff here. Um... Old school tactics. Bracket shooting. He's pilot promoted. Nice. Naval stuff. There you go. Awesome. Make it really strong. Um, battle cruisers. This is just blueprints for stuff. Dockyard stuff would be good to get. But you need everything here, which takes a while. Convoy destruction fleet. Cheap destroyers will make it easy for a nation to destroy enemy ships. For the, from the rocky seas to the celestial shores, trade will be controlled by us. Awesome. Oh, wow, actually, awesome ships. We did destroy quite a few of them, so. Alright, more divisions? Nice. Keep training. Artillery, yeah. Advanced artillery techniques. I mean, this is not bad. Even more soft attack and organization. I just can't pass it up, though. Yeah, alright, not bad. Pretty good. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's talk about some comments, such as so it says I do. I say do the Griffin on the High Hill next, and we play Nova Griffonia. And then, of course, now right now do Marshall the Falcons. So it says play the Solar Empire, the Lunar Empire next. Uh, let's see. So it says it, could you play the Netherlands and Tiano and take the Burgundian path? I'm not sure if they have unique focus tree. That'd be cool if they did though. So it says I saw a mod North America divided. It's pretty good, but the only thing lacking is lore. But I'm fine with that. Says somebody. So it says it plays the military dictatorship Griffonian Empire next. So it also says this is a certified bra moment. Someone says, Griffin supremacy will be blessed by the algorithm, and someone else says, I'm so happy to see more Equestria War. Yeah, Equestria War is really good. Oh! Oh, they go to war with each other, huh? I didn't even notice that, because I was, I, was, I was elsewhere. Oh, the Anton, huh? Well, the Reichspack's fighting them, so... I just want a Skyfall, man. More heavy attack? Nice. Not bad. Uh, come with the structure fleet. The Hidden Fleet. Yeah, under the water lies a secret weapon, a powerful new force in the naval war that is almost impossible to beat. The sub, hidden away from the side of our enemies, and able to strike at the moment's notice. They won't notice until it's too late. Which is great. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, that's even nicer. We need more manpower. We're going to need more pony power, anyways, but still. Tanks. Reliability, soft stack, max speed, and reliability. Oh, are we actually... Oh, oh look at that. Nice. Uh, do we have any skill upgrades for this? General or Admiral, I should say? It's general. Level 6 is pretty decent. Are we good to go? No. Hmm. Phone Empire is not doing too bad, but still. Empire Strikes Back. We're losing supplies anywhere. Oh, around here is not very good. Pretty normal, though.
Make sure we keep making the civvies and millies and stuff like that. Uh, can we get some civvies though? There we go. We can't really do much about that right now. Get some more fuel if you can. If anything, get this one done fast because it's getting closer to being done. And are they here yet? No, no. Not bad, and but no. Maybe our supplies. Yeah, I'm good with that. Not bad. But at this point, I'm also read a couple more focuses, such as battle cruiser experiments. A cruiser is good, but a battle cruiser, now that's a tempting top of ship that anyone would want. We put our leading naval scientists upon the task of figuring out how to make them. Scru cruiser squadrons. A squadron of cruisers to patrol our seas will be a useful thing indeed. With enough of them supporting our ships, we'll be able to defeat any enemy that tries to best us. Gear experiments. The na aircraft carriers have been a concept thrown around by our leading naval theorists for years. The idea of a ship designed for sea based airfields is tantalizing with the old expensive. What's well, finally time to invest in this idea? Naval Aviation Department. The naval bomber is a fine idea of planes designed specifically for bombing enemy's fleets into the depths of the seas, never to be found again. Battleship plan. But in the end, nothing beats a battleship. Uh, large enough to destroy five enemies and not take a hip. Batteries strong enough to pulverize all that oppose it. The battleship has always worked and will keep working. And then, uh, let's go right now, and then we'll finish off with the dockyard expansion scheme. With all these new developments and the constant buzz within our naval community, it's time for us to get more dockyards to save the Navy's demand for ships. True, this is a new age for uh, no Grifonian Navy. Well, everyone, here we're at. We're now War of the Changing Kingdom, and uh, we're doing okay. Uh, we hit the casualties so far. We got a lot of casualties. We have a little bit of manpower left, and uh, we've delivered. Actually, we're at War of the Grifonian Republic now, and the Changing Kingdom, so. Oh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to do a little more of this off screen, but we've done quite a few focuses, such as Kingsmere Oil Reserves. Well, would you look at that? Our new settlers just found oil beneath their new homes. Lakeside Roads. The Griffins are now moving into the northwestern areas of the country and are so largely cut off from the remainder of the country through lack of infrastructure and communications, which will fix a problem. Industrial is the Kingsmere. If all these new settlements taking place in the northwest, it would be a wasted opportunity now to build a new industrial base there. Slavery. We now govern over previously foreign subjects, many of which are not even Griffin, Griffins. Obviously, they should not be made citizens of a new order, but instead be forced into slavery. With new cheap labor force, we can drastically increase our economic prosperity or prosperity or prospects. Standard as armories. <clears throat> our arms industry has fallen behind compared to those of larger eco countries. We need to create more military factories designed to produce large amounts of modern equipment. Radio implementation. The world rapidly changes around us. We have access to things we thought to be matching woodcraft just a few decades ago. One of these things is the radio. This groundbreaking piece of technology can vastly improve communication all across the army. We should implement immediately. Adopt the naval weapon. Our old overlords from the Griffinheim have developed a new rocket launcher, the naval weapon. They wanted to keep their project a tickle secret. However, during the final phase of development, one of the scientists betrayed the Empire and escaped. And so it happens that there is one particular country which always is keen to give asylum to all Imperial exiles. Import changing panzers. <clears throat> well, I don't know how much we can really import, but still. Recently, the government received an interesting proposal from the changing government. They offered to sell some of their old panzer models for a surprisingly low price. This tank will be an excellent base for future development of armored vehicles. Send another telegraph to Vesepolis at once. <clears throat> Thicker plating. We managed to learn a lot from the old field tests conducted on the panzers provided by the changelings. If implemented correctly, these metal monsters can wreak havoc on the battlefields, but anti tank guns are being developed in tandem with the tanks. If we're to keep an edge over the enemy infantry, we need to produce tanks with thicker plates and bigger guns. Our own magical rifles. A question scientist from the Luna Nova Academy recently come to a studying discovery. It turns out the magical energy from the purple crystals often found in the mountains can be used in weaponry. It's an opportunity we cannot miss. The Nova Grifonia will produce its own magical rifles and a heavy tank. As technology progresses, it becomes clear that we need a heavier tank variant to round out our arsenal of mobile weapons. With the thickest armor and most devastating guns, these panzers will be able to break through any, any strong point with these. All we need to do is have a design. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will be struggling greatly against the changing hegemony. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.